Man possesses a center, a core of being, but he often lives disconnected from it. This disconnection from his center creates inner tension, a constant state of turmoil and unease. This imbalance is the source of all mental stress, as man is not where he is meant to be. He is not aligned with his true self, causing him to feel out of balance. This constant state of being off-center fuels mental tension and anxiety. When this tension becomes too extreme, it can lead to madness. Madness occurs when someone has lost all connection to themselves, becoming entirely disconnected from their inner being. In contrast, an enlightened person lives at the opposite pole from madness. They are fully centered in themselves, aligned with their core being, experiencing inner peace and clarity. Most people, however, exist somewhere in between these two extremes. They have not completely lost themselves, as a madman has, but they are not fully centered like an enlightened person either. They constantly move in the gap between these two states. There are moments when they drift far from their center, moving so far away from themselves that they temporarily experience madness. In moments of anger, lust, or deep emotional involvement, people move so far away from their center that for a brief time they lose control. In those moments there is no difference between them and a madman. The only distinction is that the madman is permanently in that state, whereas the average person only touches madness temporarily before returning to their normal state. In these moments of temporary madness, people experience the same quality of insanity as a madman, only the intensity is different. The madman is stuck there permanently, while most people will eventually come back to themselves. For example, when you are overcome with anger, you are in a state of madness, but it is not permanent. Qualitatively, there is no difference between you and a madman during that time. The only difference is that your madness is temporary, while the madman's state is continuous. Similarly, there are moments when people briefly touch their center, when they are completely relaxed and at ease. In those moments, they experience bliss, resembling the inner peace of a Buddha or a Krishna. But these moments are also fleeting. You touch your center, but you do not stay there. In fact, as soon as you realize you are in a state of bliss, the moment is already gone. The recognition of bliss pulls you out of it, and you return to your usual state. People continuously oscillate between these two extremes, moments of madness and moments of enlightenment. However, this constant movement is dangerous. When you are always moving between these two states, you cannot develop a stable sense of self. You cannot create a fixed, solid image of who you are. Instead, you are left with a liquid, fluid identity, always shifting and changing. You become unsure of who you are, and this uncertainty causes great difficulty in life. Because of this instability, people often become afraid of both extremes, madness and enlightenment. To avoid this fear, they attempt to fix themselves somewhere in between. This is what we call a normal person. A normal person never fully experiences the madness of deep emotional states like anger, nor do they touch the heights of total freedom and ecstasy. They remain stuck in the middle, holding on to a solid, unchanging image of themselves. In doing so, they avoid the extremes, but they also miss out on the profound experiences of life. This is why many exceptional people, great artists, poets, painters, and thinkers, do not fit the mold of normal people. These individuals often move more fluidly between madness and enlightenment. They touch their center at times, experiencing moments of ecstasy and insight, but they also experience periods of great turmoil, moving far from their center into chaos and madness. Because of this constant movement between two extremes, they experience intense anguish and tension. Their identities are not fixed, so they often feel as if they have no solid sense of self. They live between two worlds and are constantly changing, which makes them feel lost or out of place in the world. These exceptional individuals often feel like outsiders in the world of normality. As Colin Wilson described, they do not belong in the conventional world because they do not cling to a fixed identity like most people. They are more fluid, moving between madness and enlightenment, and this movement makes it difficult for them to fit into society. To better understand this, it helps to define four types of people. First, there is the normal person who has a fixed, solid identity. This person knows who they are, a doctor, a teacher, an engineer, 
or perhaps even a saint. They cling tightly to this identity and never stray from it. They build their entire life around this fixed image of themselves and rarely, if ever, venture beyond it. The second type is those who have fluid identities, like artists, poets, and musicians. These individuals do not have a solid sense of who they are. They often fluctuate between different states of being. At times, they may appear completely normal, fitting in with the rest of society. Other times, they may drift into madness or experience moments of enlightenment, touching the same ecstasy that a Buddha or a Krishna might experience. Their sense of self is always shifting, and this fluidity makes them feel like outsiders. The third type of person is the permanently mad. These individuals have completely lost touch with themselves. They live entirely outside of themselves, with no connection to their center. They have gone so far away from themselves that they no longer even remember that they have a center. They are lost in the world of madness and cannot return to their inner being. The fourth and final type is the enlightened ones, such as Buddha, Christ, and Krishna. These individuals have fully reached their center and are completely relaxed in their being. They have no tension, no effort, and no desire. They do not strive to become anything because they are fully content with who they are. They live entirely in the present moment without any longing or ambition for the future. For them, this very moment is eternity. An enlightened person is fully at ease with their being, accepting themselves completely as they are. They do not wish to change or become something else. They have no future, as their consciousness is always in the present. They experience no longing or desire because they do not project themselves into the future. A Buddha, for example, lives entirely in the now. When he eats, he eats in the present moment, without thinking about tomorrow's meal or dwelling on yesterday's. He lives fully in each moment as it comes. For most people, however, this is not the case. People often eat with their minds somewhere else, thinking about future meals or reminiscing about past ones. Their minds are always occupied with something other than the present moment. In contrast, a Buddha eats in the present. He does not project his mind into the future or dwell in the past. He is fully present, and because of this, he experiences no tension. Tension arises from the desire to become something other than what you are. You are always striving to be something else, to be richer, more beautiful, more intelligent. This desire creates tension because you are never satisfied with your current state. You are always A, but you desire to become B. This constant striving is what Buddha referred to as Trishna, or the thirst for more. This desire leads you from one life to another, from one world to another, in an endless cycle of becoming. There is no end to this cycle, as the mind will always find something new to desire once it achieves its current goal. But if you stop desiring and accept yourself fully, becoming ceases. When you no longer wish to become something else, tension disappears. You are at peace with yourself, and there is no longer any anguish or discontent. You become centered in your being, experiencing true ease and relaxation. At the opposite end of the spectrum is the madman. The madman has no sense of being, only becoming. He is always striving to be something else, and in doing so, he has forgotten who he truly is. He no longer knows himself. He only knows his desires and goals. He lives entirely in his dreams, disconnected from reality. To others, he appears crazy because he no longer exists in the present moment. He lives in a world of fantasies and desires, completely detached from the here and now. These two extremes, the enlightened person and the madman, represent the polar opposites of human existence. The enlightened one is fully centered in the present, while the madman lives entirely in the future, always chasing his desires. Most people exist somewhere between these two poles, experiencing moments of both madness and enlightenment, but never fully living in either state. At times you may experience a glimpse of your center when you are relaxed or in love. In these moments the mind becomes quiet and you touch your being. You experience a sense of well-being and bliss, as if you have returned to your true self. But these moments are fleeting and the mind quickly returns pulling you back into the world of desire and striving. 